Hi everyone, my name is Mindy. If you are new here, I'll be attending nursing school in January 2022. And today I am sharing the top effective note-taking tips for before, during, and after lecture. This note-taking system was so helpful in terms of better understanding the material, but also preparing for my exams. Now I know everyone's note-taking method is different, but I do hope that this video is helpful and gives you new ideas. I will also quickly mention that my note-taking methods differ depending on the subject that I'm learning or the content. But for the purpose of this video, I am sharing my most common methods that I would use for very content heavy or scientific courses. I think that's it. Let's get started. The first tip on effective note taking is to review the material the night before or in the morning before lecture. Some of my professors from my pre-nursing terms were kind enough to post the PowerPoint slides before class. I'll share with you what I did if PowerPoint slides were provided and then I'll also show you what I did when PowerPoint slides were not provided. If PowerPoint slides are provided the night before, I would go and print the slides out and then I would just go and review every single slide. Then I make note of all the headings as well as the subheadings. Next, I would grab the lecture objectives as you can see here. My professor wrote down all of the things that we needed to know for each of the chapters. I would go skim through this list as I skim through the chapter and refer to these objectives. Now I will go through how I actually read the textbook before a lecture. The first thing I would do is I would go to the front of the book where I would read the introductory summary first. Usually textbooks will either have a chapter preview or or a chapter summary which includes all the main points of the chapter. It's a great overview of what the chapter will be about. I then go through the sections and subsections of the chapter and then go over the first and last sentence of every single paragraph in this chapter. Since this is before lecture, I won't go spend all the time reading every single word, but the purpose of doing this is to get the main points from each section of the chapter before I delve into the book further after lecture. While I'm doing that, I'm also paying special attention to altered fonts. So things like bolded fonts, italicized, all caps fonts. I would also make sure to look at diagrams, tables, charts, anything in a box, anything that has drawings, descriptions underneath the drawings, as well as case studies in the actual chapter. While I'm skimming through the chapter, I would also take notes in the printed out slides and write questions down that I would like to ask during lecture as well. So if I don't have PowerPoint slides printed out, I won't know what's in the lecture beforehand. I open up the ebook of my textbook on the left side of the page and on the right side is my note-taking software. Then I would go and extract all the main headings and subheadings from the textbook instead to prepare for my lecture. By doing this, I then have a reference point when the teacher is talking and I can quickly jot down the notes down into my note-taking system under the appropriate headings when she's going over the slides during class. By preparing the lecture notes before class and also skimming through the chapter not only gave me a better overview of what the chapter was going to be so I could understand what the teacher was saying, but also I could actually pay attention in class. Now let's get to during. Since I've already printed out my PowerPoint slides or I already have the outline of the entire chapter, then what I would do is I would go and annotate during lecture. I'm a huge fan of handwriting notes. There's a lot of evidence out there that handwriting notes can actually help you retain information better. And I also like handwriting more because I can link ideas together easily and I find that there's a little bit more flexibility when I'm handwriting versus typing out notes. Now during lecture, I pay attention very closely to what the professor is saying. In my experience, professors would use specific tone if they want to emphasize a point, so I would always star that or make a note of it. I would also notice if they repeat the topic a few times. Also, if the professor talks about a specific topic a little bit longer than the rest of the topic, I would assume that that is an important topic, so I make note of that as well. And the last one is my favorite, is when the professor says, This is going to be on the exam. Or, this is really important. Last thing about note taking during lecture, I do not transcribe everything the teacher says word for word. So when I'm handwriting notes, I wouldn't be able to keep up if I wrote down every single thing the professor was saying word for word. I take what the professor says and then I kind of write it in my own notes and that ensures that I understand the material. If I did not have PowerPoint slides, I would go back to my typed out outline that I made and I would just do the same thing as I would if I had PowerPoints printed out. This brings me to my next point of what I did after lecture for effective note-taking. 
is so, 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 so important to review right after lecture or at least the day after because it, everything is so fresh in your mind already. Right after lecture, I would go and look over all of my slides or my notes that I have and then I would go and make my post lecture notes. I'd go and condense these notes. So everything that I took from the lecture as well as everything from the PowerPoint, I would condense all of them together to make it into one compact post lecture note. Because everything's so fresh in my mind, when I look at these annotated notes as they are in point forms or they're abbreviated, then I can actually remember what the professor was talking about and what I was trying to understand. So when I'm doing my post lecture notes, I don't copy point forms. I actually write out full sentences of each point that I've created. Next point on effective note taking is what I'm doing for January 2022. No more, no more printing out notes. I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. I'm going to be using my iPad. That's the only thing. So I'm just gonna have them all on here. And I mentioned this in my last unboxing video of the iPad. This is a very recent purchase. I have never done digital note taking in terms of writing out notes on a screen. I will be sharing a video soon after I get adjusted to digital note taking. I do hope that this video was useful. Please don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video.